In this classroom tour video, we'll be talking about my pencil cuts. Now, I am not gonna lie, like the rest of the world, I hated COVID. I hated teaching during COVID and I hated all the things that came with it. But there were some things that came or that kind of because of one thing or another, you discovered something and you're like, hey, this actually works. So with COVID, at my small group table, we had plexiglass dividing each and every spot. Before that, I would have a green stack of highlighters, or really I had them kind of in their own pencil cup, and I would say, okay, green highlighter time, and I would pass it out to everyone. Okay, blue highlighter time, pass it out to everyone. And I was constantly like picking up and passing out different color markers or highlighters, and I got tired of that, okay? But I really didn't know or think of a different way until COVID and I had that stupid plexiglass in between each person. Well, I can no longer just kind of swoop around and give everybody their marker. So I got on Amazon and I found a six pack of pencil cups and I'm like, that's perfect. I'll just get these six pencil cups and I'll put all the things that the students need in them. And so that's what I do. Each cup has a blue and a green highlighter because we always start with our blue and our green words in our leveled readers. They also have four markers and you can put however many you want, but I like four because we only need three. But we all know somebody's gonna say, I don't wanna use pink. Well, then don't use pink. You don't need to use pink. I don't care if you use green on every single one of them, that's fine. But either way, there are always four markers. You could do whatever you want. And there are always two pencils. And I put two pencils because I see nine groups all day long. Sometimes one pencil is dull by the end of the day, and it's nice when you have another that can be the backup. Also, you'll notice, maybe this is just me. I might be weird, and it's fine if I'm just weird. But one is short, one is long. Some of these suckers are really small, and that's okay. Because, again, I know I'm weird. I like to use a little pencil when I'm writing, but I know some people like to use a tall pencil when they're writing. They don't wanna use these small little suckers and that's okay. So I try to have like one big, one small, or if I have three that are ready, then I could even have a medium in there so that people have choices. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I just know my preference. I'm like, what, what do you want the big pencil for? Don't you want that little one? It just fits in your hand so nicely. No, not everybody thinks like me. So I like to have multiple pencils in there for whatever kids like. And that is everything that they need in their cup. Now, depending on if you are using the blue level of my reading intervention, you also might need a pink and an orange highlighter. Right now with the grade levels I'm teaching, I don't have any kids doing that, so I don't even have them in here. But if I did, each cup would have a pink and an orange, that away. I don't have to pass anything out. I just say, get your green highlighter. Get your green, your blue highlighter. Get, get a marker. A lot of times I'll say, meet me at the top with a marker in five, four, three, and count backwards. Or I'll say, meet me at number one with a pencil in five, four, three, and the kids just know. They just meet me there. And at this point of the year, here at the end, they are saying it for me. They're like, get a green highlighter get a blue highlighter. Oh, we need a pencil. So they just know what to do. And so that is one way that COVID has helped me kind of save a little bit of time, encourage them independence. They know the routine and that's what we do. So these pencil cups are on my table through all of my groups all day long. And the kids just kind of use them as they need them or use the materials inside as they need them.